What's going on, everybody? It's Anne from Cancer Moon's Tarot, and I'm coming at you guys with your January 2022 tarot reading. As always, readings here are general, so if they resonate, that's awesome. And if not, it's not your message. And if you want to check out my official social medias, you're more than welcome to. That's going to be linked down in the description below. But Aquarius, I want to thank you guys for coming in. I appreciate it so much. I hope you guys are looking towards a fantastic January, wishing you guys a happy new year, and I hope you're excited for this brand new year ahead. Now, with that all being said, Aquarius, let's begin and see what we got what current energies are going to be coming through here for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus throughout January 2022. The first card that came out already was a Six of Swords. Moving forward from that Six of Swords, we have here the Page of Pentacles, and then we have here the Queen of Cups. So, looking at your current energies for January so far, Six of Swords, Page of Pentacles, Queen of Cups, you know that there's somewhere better to put your energy or to offer your energy or to offer your time. Because the Page of Pentacles is, is I can offer my time, my energy, my devotion somewhere else. And I mean, the Six of Swords right off the bat is kind of indicating that you're already going in a different direction. So this is about putting your energy in a brand new direction or offering your energy into something else in January 2022. Now, followed up with that, we did have the Queen of Cups, which is about being in a pretty good place emotionally. So I feel like you're making a judgment call here, Aquarius, coming into January 2022. You're deciding to put your energy elsewhere to protect yourself emotionally. You're deciding to put your energy elsewhere so that you're in a good place emotionally and there's nothing going on that's going to fuck with your vibe or kill your vibe, you know? So I feel like you're overall protecting your energy by making some sort of move. Uh, let's clarify this Six of Swords. Where is Aquarius going? in January 2022 with that Six of Swords. And we have here the Death card. You're going straight to the transformation, all right? You could be going to a Scorpio for a few of you, considering that the Death is over here, but the Death card is about change and transformation, so you're going to an entire new type of world, okay? This is a transformative energy. You're changing up your life. Let's clarify the Page of Pentacles. Why do we got the Page of Pentacles here for Aquarius throughout January 2022? And we have here the Empress card, which is all about growth. Okay, the Empress card and the and the Death card here together, that's growth and transformation. So with the Empress showing up here, I feel like you really value yourself a whole lot more Aquarius. I mean, coming into this new year, you see yourself in a whole new light. I think that this is about saying, I see a path for me that has an exceptional amount of growth, that has so many good things for me to offer. That's the path I want to go to. Let's clarify the Queen of Cups. Why do we got a Queen of Cups here for Aquarius? And then we have here the Fool card. Yeah, it's like I don't really feel like being in a position of time to where I'm emotionally ungrounded and going through all these horrible things. With the Fool card jumping over here, I'm going to say fuck it and really walk away from anything that's messing with me or killing my vibe. You know, entering this new year, it's good vibes only. So as far as what I'm getting for your reading so far, Aquarius, coming into January 2022, there are going to be some changes in addition to your life. This could be about removing yourself from certain types of people. This could be about removing yourself from unhealthy situations. But at the end of the day, the gist of it is, is that I want to invest my energy into what's going to be better for me, what's going to make me grow, what's going to put me on a path that brings me all the success that I've been looking for. So you're really working hard on you, okay? So I also feel here too, with the Fool card to the Queen of Cups, anything that's kind of been like an emotional burden to you, anything that's kind of dragged you down emotionally is going to be released because the Fool card is about letting go of that type of stuff. So you're letting go of anything that's been any sort of emotional burden to you. Let's go ahead and see what you're dealing with here, Aquarius, in January. What is Aquarius going to be dealing with? Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus throughout January 2022. What is Aquarius dealing with during this time? And what do we got? We got here the Knight of Wands. We got here the Temperance. We have here the Justice card. And we have here the Devil. It's interesting, Aquarius, because I do feel like you're coming into some sort of information about someone in your environment. The reason why you don't want to invest your energy into a certain situation anymore is because you've came to a realization that what you've invested your energy in wasn't all that great. It was the devil. Maybe you put a lot of energy into a relationship that genuinely wasn't good for you. Maybe you put a lot of energy into a job that wasn't good for you. Maybe you put a lot of energy into a friend. But whoever this devil card was, I feel like you're starting to acknowledge, wow, I invested a lot of time into something that was actually not worth it for me. 
I invested a lot of time into someone maybe that was not too healthy for me. So with the Knight of Wands to the Temperance, you're immediately saying, I need to do what's within my favor and I need to make sure that I'm bringing balance back into my life on an emotional level. So you're not giving your energy to anything that's going to disrupt your emotional well-being. Point blank period. This month of January is about protecting your emotional well-being, Aquarius. So whatever's kind of been draining you, which specifically I feel is coming from that devil card, whatever's been draining you, whatever's been unhealthy for you, you're really removing those toxins from your life. You're definitely going through a detox phase. And you also got here the justice card, which is the justice card talks about, you know, bringing and restoring balance into your life. So right now you're on the spectrum of making sure that you are taking in a lot of healthy energies to provide a more healthy type of lifestyle. So I want to clarify this devil for just a second. Let's see what's up with the devil. Why do we got the devil showing up here for what Aquarius was dealing with in January? And we have here the four of cups and we have here the star card. You know, the devil could even talk about an attachment possibly that you had to an outcome, to a person, to a situation. I definitely feel a big release of detaching from the outcome Aquarius moving into January 2022. For example, maybe there's somebody you wanted to be together with. And let's say this person was ignoring you with that four of cups. I think you're recognizing, you know, I'm not meant to be with somebody who's going to tune me out and ignore me. I'm meant to be with somebody who truly aligns with me and wants to be with me. So if any of you Aquarius Aquarians have kind of been stuck on a person or stuck on a situation, I see that being released as well, you know, because the devil card here could be representing some sort of unhealthy tie that you had to somebody. So you might have felt tied and bound to a person maybe a person who is currently tuning you out, or maybe you were stuck on somebody who wasn't stuck on you. Um, you could have had a tie to like a karmic relationship, a tie to um, a negative friendship, a tie to a job that you couldn't really stand. But whatever kind of negative ties you have upheld until this time, those negative ties are being severed in January 2022. So that's good news for you off the bat, that you're severing a lot of negative ties. Because the devil card could represent a lot of things. It could represent addictions. It could represent feeling trapped with somebody. It could represent negative environments kind of making you feel suffocated. Um, if there are any addictions that you guys had, like possibly addictions to nicotine or anything like that, you may have a new, re uh, new year's resolution where you're going to quit smoking. Um, if that's the case, I actually see a lot of success there, guys. So just throwing that out there for any Aquarians that want to quit smoking, um, I would really try it in January. I think they're is a good potential for a lot of success this month. I don't know what's so um, auspicious about this month, but I feel that if you do try to quit smoking, this would be the perfect time for you to do it. I think that this time you'll actually stick to it. So for any Aquarians out there that are wanting to quit cigarettes, nicotine, so on and so forth, any kind of addictions or habits that have a negative impact on health, this would be a great time this month to do so. I see a lot of success there, okay? All right, let's go ahead and see where things are going for you, Aquarius. Where are things going for Aquarius? Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus throughout January 2022. Where are things going to be going for Aquarius? We have the King of Cups, or sorry, the Queen of Swords come out over here. Moving forward from that, we got here the King of Pentacles. We got here the Nine of Swords, and we got here the Seven of Cups. I'm definitely seeing a lot of Aquarians being called to their finances this month. You got here a Queen of Swords and you got here a King of Pentacles. So the Queen of Swords, I feel, is kind of like being in a very all about business type of attitude. I definitely feel like focusing on your money this month is going to be a really good thing for you. So Aquarius, when it comes towards working, if there's any opportunities to grab some overtime, if there's any opportunities to invest your money, your money into something, you know, like anything that's hot right now, cryptocurrencies, NFTs, you know, maybe it's time to uh, start sharing the wealth, start investing the wealth um, so you can get a really good return. I'm definitely seeing money moves being made coming into January 2022. So Queen of Swords, King of Pentacles. I definitely feel like you're going to be about your business. That's where I see things going for you guys, okay? So when it comes towards money, do not be afraid of making more money is what I'm hearing for you guys. Uh, don't be afraid to put your money into things, to invest your money into stuff so that it can grow. This is a great time right now to expand your finances, Aquarius. Now, we also have here the Nine of Swords and we have here the Seven of Cups. So where things are going for you is it does feel to me that the Nine of Swords to the Seven of Cups is there's a lot that you have going for you, almost to the point, Aquarius, where it makes you feel a little overwhelmed or a little anxious. Because coming into January 2022, I feel like the Seven of Cups is representing there will be a lot of opportunities for you. 
There will be opportunities in your career. There will be opportunities in love. There will be opportunities in your personal life. And it feels to me like a very busy month, okay? For example, guys, you know how Christmas or the holiday season as a whole is usually a very busy season in work? It almost feels to me like in January 2022, it's a very busy season in your life, okay? It's kind of the energies that I'm picking up on. It feels like very restless, this type of energy. It just feels like you have a lot going on. Um, and I definitely see that stressing you out. So my best advice for you guys is that even though there may be a lot going on, even though you might have a lot of opportunities come up or maybe you have a lot of responsibilities to handle this month, guys, be as cool, calm, and collected as you can. You know, I am a person who really advocates for meditation, guys. Even if it's just 10 minutes a day of just giving yourself time to quiet your mind, do that if you can. And by the way, there is no right or wrong way to meditate, guys. If you want to pop some music in your head, or pop some music in your head, if you want to pop some headphones in and listen to some music and work out, that is literally a form of meditation. You know, meditation doesn't have to be you cross-legged, you know, sitting down doing the ohm 108 times, you know, meditation can very well likely be going for a run, going for a jog, listening to music, whatever you can do to kind of clear and calm your mind is a form of meditation. So if you are feeling overwhelmed this month or you notice that so much is going on, it feels like go, 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 Aquarius, make sure to incorporate some sort of meditation, some way to calm your mind, guys, that's really going to be beneficial to you. All right. So as far as what I'm seeing, man, so far for this month, kind of the gist of what I'm seeing is that you're in a place where things are going to be changing for you and you're making change because you want a better life for you, Aquarius. You know, the Empress card here to the death card is saying, I'm ready to jump on a path full of growth, full of positive change. You know, Queen of Cups over here clarified by the fool is you guys saying I want to release any sort of emotional burdens or anything that is really weighing me down emotionally. I want to be in a good place emotionally coming into this brand new year. So in regards to what you're dealing with, Knight of Wands, Temperance, Justice, Devil, you know, these cards that were coming up, we're talking about you guys essentially saying, hey, what I'm dealing with is having to walk away from all these negative energies that have been coming for me. You know, the Devil card could be about walking away from bad habits, walking away from addictions, walking away from negative people. You know, if you've been stuck on somebody romantically and they haven't been stuck on you, you're recognizing this year and this month, it's time for me to move on. You know, if I've been involved in situations where I've been too giving and people have not been giving back to me, then maybe I should stop being too overly giving, right? It's about recognizing that you deserve equal give and take as well. So I feel like this month specifically for you is about reducing anything that is affecting your emotional well-being. It's about pulling yourself away from those types of negative energies and focusing on getting yourself in alignment with the perfect life that you want to live for you. Now, in regards to where things are going, I did say I do feel specifically in January, it's gonna be a very work-driven type of month. You really are gonna be about your business. There's gonna be lots of opportunities to make more money and to accumulate more wealth. So this is a great time to focus more on your wealth, guys. It is a great time to invest your money in things that are gonna give you a great return. Now, I'm not a financial advisor. I'm not going to be a financial advisor, so you don't have to take my advice, but I would say do your research, guys, with where you can put your money to grow and get good profits, because this is a great time to invest with all the crazy stuff going on nowadays, right, when it comes towards the money game. So, just throwing that out there. Do your research. See where you can invest your money. I see good returns coming in here for you, okay? And like I said, you know, where things are going, it feels to me like there's going to be a lot happening this month. It almost feels like this month is another holiday season for you. But as long as you continue to stay as cool, calm, and collected as you can, you're going to get through it. You know, no one's saying this month is all bad. But when you're changing your life, you know, as you're going through these changes, you're going to have a lot of things that you need to let go of. You're going to have a lot of new things that you got to get started with, right? You're essentially having a new start to your life by stepping onto a new path. So there's going to be a lot happening for you, you know? So Aquarius, so far, not so bad. It's looking pretty good. Let's see what your spirit guides have to say for this month. Um, are there any dire or important messages coming in from Aquarius' spirit guides throughout January 2022? Let's see what they got to say. Are there any dire or important messages coming in from Aquarius' spirit guides throughout January 2022? And what do we got? We got here the world card. We also got here the chariot. And we got here the six of cups followed up with the lovers. Absolutely. Absolutely. You know, the connection to your past is no longer what's going to be 
you feeling tied and bound. You know, you're basically moving into a whole brand new beginning, Aquarius. You're stepping into a whole new version of yourself and a whole new version of your life. You got the world card here to the chariot. It's about creating a new world for yourself. So your spirit guides want you to stay focused on that path, guys. Do not focus on staying connected to your past. Focus on who you want to become this month. Focus on the life you want to live for yourself. Because Aquarius, you know, your guides here are essentially saying you are more than capable of making any sort of changes you want in your life. You're more than capable of handling anything that comes your way. So keep your head up high and make sure you're focused on the goal. Make sure you're focused on what you want and enjoy the journey. So coming into January for Aquarians here, whatever you need to focus your energy on that's going to support your emotional well-being, anything that you can do to help yourself grow, anything you can do to make a positive change in your life, this is the month to do it. It feels like a really awesome time to plant your seeds this month to really start seeing things grow throughout the rest of your 2022. You know, I think main, like the main reason why a lot of people tend to do New Year's resolutions in January is because for some reason, that energy, it's just a great time to plant your seeds for the rest of your year. It's a great time to lay out what you want out of the rest of this year. So guys, make sure you're doing that accordingly, right? Remember that devil card we talked about earlier, let go of all the negative energies, let go of all the bad habits, all the bad addictions, let go of all the bad, you know, people in your life that have been affecting your emotional well-being. You know, if you're healthy, in your heart, if you're healthy emotionally, that manifests throughout everything else in your life. If you are healthy on the inside, guys, health will manifest everywhere. There will be health and wealth. There will be health in physicalness, right? In your physical body. So if you're good emotionally, the rest of your life's gonna be good. The most important thing this month, I think that's being highlighted for you guys specifically, is taking care of your emotional well-being. So make sure, guys, that that is top priority, okay? All right, guys, let's see what the outcome's gonna be. That's gonna be the overall outcome for Aquarians month throughout January, 2022. Aquarians, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus throughout January, 2022. And what do we have? We have here the Eight of Pentacles. Let's get to work. Mm -hmm. You're building yourself a kingdom here, Aquarius, and it's gonna require your time, it's gonna require your work, so go ahead and work. You got here that High Priestess coming in here as well, which is also a really interesting message because the High Priestess is a card of intuition. This is a card, I feel, that is your guides reminding you that you are backed and supported by them because it's a very spiritual card when you see the High Priestess. It talks about your connection to your higher self, aka the connection to your guides as well. So, Aquarius, you, are, you will be, excuse me, backed and supported by your guides in January 2022 to basically transform your life into what you want it to be. You have support is what I'm hearing for you, okay? So go ahead and get to work, guys. Whatever changes you want, lay out the foundation this month so you can see everything you want to manifest grow throughout 2022. This is going to be the month of planting seeds so that you can see beautiful results throughout the rest of your new year. I like it, Aquarius. I like it a lot. You know, one thing I did have to warn you guys about was, is like, it's going to be a busy month. You know, when you're going through a transformation, when things in your life are changing, it's going to be an overwhelming time. You're going to have a lot of coming at you. It's going to feel like a holiday season. So make sure you're incorporating meditation where you can. Make sure you're keeping yourself as cool, calm, and collected as possible. Don't let yourself get stressed out. Really protect your emotional well-being. That's going to be the top priority for you in January 2022 as a whole. You know, focus on releasing what doesn't resonate with you anymore. Have no more neg negative attachments. Clear as many negative attachments as possible. And uh, yeah, you know, in regards to the financial game, Got a lot of good news for you. I feel like finances are gonna be popping for you guys moving into January. I feel like it's also a great time to invest. Like I said, I'm not a financial advisor, so do as much research as possible of where you can put your money in so, for, so that money can grow, but I feel like it's a good time to make money moves as well, guys, okay? All right, Aquarius, I love you guys. Thank you for tuning in. If this message resonates, let me know down in the comments down below. Have a happy new year, guys. Have a lovely January, and I will see you guys in the next video. Much love, Aquarius, and have yourselves a good one. Peace.